What's good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today on JP Sype, I am back with another video. As you guys can see, I have my sister here with me today. Her name is Maddie. Yeah, I know, she looks like this monkey up here. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know that is actually a childhood photo of her. But today, we're basically going to be showing you guys the best shoes for summer 2021. I did bring her along on this video with me because some of these shoes are hers and there's some shoes that like if I have any girl followers you guys would want to wear these for your summer experience. So with COVID kind of going away and things going back to normal hopefully some of you guys are getting out getting some fresh kicks for the summer and uh, are looking forward to wearing them. So without further ado let's get right into this and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy this kind of content make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's do it. All right, y'all, so first off, we have a pair of Crocs. I do not own a pair personally, but these are Maddie's. Um, yeah, Crocs, super simple. I mean, every almost every single girl I know has a pair of Crocs. Um, but if you're a dude, Crocs, super easy to slip on. I do want to get a pair just for, like, bringing my dog outside or something like that or just putting them on quick to drive somewhere. So, like, yeah, super comfortable, super lightweight, and super easy shoe. Like, if you're going to the beach or something like that, Crocs are definitely something that you guys should have for summer 2021. All right, yo, and up next we have slides. As you can see, mine are freaking beat to hell. Hers are brand new. She literally hasn't worn these yet. Hers are actually Michael Kors slides, and I have Gucci slides right here. Um, designer slides are kind of expensive. I don't know how much she paid for these, but these are like 220 retail, 210 something crazy like that. But you guys don't need anything like that. Like, if you can get away with, like, Champion or Nike, like, if you guys like that kind of stuff, make sure you have a pair of those as well. Another thing that you could just wear to the beach or something to slide on. So make sure you guys have a nice pair of slides for this upcoming summer. All right, and up next, a classic Vans, obviously. Uh, low, old school, I think. These are called old school low Vans. Uh, I just have the classic black and white colorway she has this white or er, white and blue colorway she also has the classic ones red ones white ones she has a lot of vans um, she's kind of like into vans how I am into like Yeezy th like 350s and like Jordans I guess but she's more into vans than any of that stuff uh, she does like Yeezys which I'm gonna be showing a pair of her Yeezys later but vans can't go wrong with them uh, another shoe that's super easy to slip on and they match with basically anything especially have, if you have this like classic colorway uh, these a little bit harder to match with obviously because they're blue but if you can get like a uh, white pair of shorts and I don't know blue shirt those would look gas so yeah uh, super easy shoe to wear and uh, definitely shoe you guys need All right, and up next, we have the Air Force One Lows. Obviously, you guys knew this was going to be on this list. Uh, $90 shoe right here. Uh, literally cannot go wrong with them. They match absolutely everything. Hers are a little different. They just have the black swoosh and the black Nike Air on the back. Uh, but super clean colorway anyways. Black and white can't go wrong. I personally like the all-white ones better, but that's just me. You can see mine are practically brand new still because I, I really just don't wear these that much. Nothing against the shoe, I just have so many other shoes to wear. So a lot of my shoes end up like that where I just don't wear them that much. But yeah, definitely another shoe that you guys need. All right, and up next we have a pair of Hirachis. These are not my shoes, they are my stepdad's actually, which is kind of funny. But a uh, super affordable shoe if you guys like this kind of, if you guys like this kind of thing. Uh, super affordable and comfortable shoe and as you guys can see this colorway is actually sick like I would definitely wear this shoe if it was in my size so yeah uh, super dope shoe and overall pretty cheap all right and up next we have these these are the Nike Air Max 2070s I believe also my stepdad shoe I actually bought these for his birthday for him uh, he really likes these and he wears these like quite often um, super dope and lightweight shoe uh, he says that they're super comfortable so a shoe that if you guys are into like not as much hype but more into like a lightweight shoe for summer this is a nice shoe to go with a lot of these are sitting below retail right now so yeah if you guys like this kind of shoe make sure you go and check these out up next these are the Air Max 270s uh, I have a pair of these but mine are a little bit different mine have the buckle on them so these are like a different edition of the Air Max 270s but I really like mine they're super comfortable and uh, she really likes these as well uh, Maddie wears these quite often actually so yeah, this is another su like super affordable shoe that you guys could wear this summer. And uh, now I'm going to get into like more expensive type stuff. So this, if this is what you're here for, uh, stay tuned because we're almost there. 
All right, one more shoe before we get into the expensive stuff. I kind of forgot that I wanted to show these as well. Uh, I believe these are 110 retail. Wait. These are 100 retail. Uh, I think I got these. Oh, wait, my girlfriend got me these for below retail. Uh, super, super dope shoe. They really match anything. Uh, there's so many colorways of these now, and they're honestly all so sick. I really like this shoe a lot. They are super hard to get on, but that's like besides the point. Uh, they really look good with like a baggy or pant. Uh, anything tight, they kind of look big and long. That's what she said. Stop it. But, yeah, um, I really like the shoe, and I don't wear these as much as I want to, and uh, I'm probably going to wear them a lot this upcoming summer. All right, y'all, and up next I have these. These are Air Jordan 1 Low Court Purple. Uh, any of the Jordan 1 Lows are honestly pretty affordable right now. Uh, they actually are like increasing in value like when I bought these I only got them for like 90 and now they're around like 260 which is crazy if I knew that that was gonna happen I would have bought two pairs of them and made money and been able to keep a shoe or keep a shoe so yeah super dope shoe for uh, summer because it is a low super breathable and uh, if you guys like the Jordan ones this is definitely a shoe that you guys would want to pick up there's like hundreds of colorways for these and a lot of them are really really nice looking uh, I do have another pair up there that uh, I will pull down quick actually. Okay, in this box I do have these. These are super clean, all white, and the multicolored swoosh. These have not ever even seen the ground on my foot or anything. These are brand spanking new. As you guys can see, the Nike swooshes are all four swooshes are different. And uh, retail of one ninety dollars ninety dollar retail for the lows, which is crazy because. The highs are 170, so there's literally a like. A, a difference. There's a difference in, uh, yeah, there's a difference in pricing. So, <laughs> the, I think the mids are 140, which is pretty affordable. 170 is a little bit little bit up there but I actually did hit on the uh, rush shadow or whatever they're called Jordan ones this morning so uh, I'll be doing an unboxing of those so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but I have a couple more shoes to show you guys so up next we have Jordan retro fours uh, super super dope colorway for the summer one because I think that they're like one of the tightest Jordan on foot they're not really super bulky that's in my opinion I think they look like skinnier on my foot than some Jordans do uh, I really like the Jordan 4 model, and honestly, I, I don't think I could live without this one specific shoe because I do wear this shoe so much. Uh, it just matches so many of like my hoodies like so well, so when I wear this hoodie or this hoodie, I honestly wear this shoe almost every single time just because they match so well. I really, really like this shoe, and I will be wearing it a lot this upcoming summer. Alright, Joe, second to last thing, I have the Jordan 1. Obviously, you guys know. What, probably the best shoe to ever exist is the Air Jordan 1. The most iconic shoe ever. I beat these to the ground. I got this shoe for $90. The shoe is now going for around $600. The shoe is sitting in outlets and now it's almost, it'll be $1,000 in a year, I bet you. And that's crazy. This shoe is sitting in outlets. Which is why I did pick up the shoe. This is not the actual box, but I did pick up this Jordan 1 as well. I picked these up because they were sitting around like a buck, like a hundred bucks, I think. And I picked them up because I can see them rising in value just like any other Jordan 1. These are dead stock, and I believe these are a size 10 and a half. These are a size 10, and right now they're around 180, so I already made $80 on this shoe. But I'm gonna hold it because I can see this shoe going to at least 350 in the upcoming years. So yeah. Um, I also have a couple other Jordan 1's that I will pull down quick. Alright Joe, so I got these two boxes right here. Uh, if you guys are like, like, you guys watch the channel a lot, you guys will know which ones these are. These are the Midnight Navy Jordan 1's. So sexy, fucking love this shoe. And uh, I would wear these. They are a size 10 and a half, but they're just so expensive that I can't not want to sell these. I believe these are around 350 now in a size 10 and a half, which is crazy. I hit on these in a size ten and a half for 170 which is retail but the materials on this shoe are just so nice the leather it looks like this because that's good leather if the leather looks like that it's usually really nice the leather that's more like smooth it's usually cheaper leather which actually a lot of you probably didn't know but super super nice and it's got the uh, super thin tongue compared to most Jordan ones so it's a super breathable shoe 
I really, really like the Midnight Navies, and uh, I wish I could keep this one, but unfortunately, I just can't talk myself into it. All right, and for the last Jordan 1 I'm going to be showing you guys is these, the Metallic Gold, I believe they're called. Honestly, not the hugest fan of it. Uh, thick tongue, like I said, the, the other tongue was super thin. This tongue is super thick. That's just like Jordan 1. It's not this shoe specifically. Um, honestly, I don't think I could wear these. You, you wear them once, and they're going to have huge creasing in these just because of the patent leather. Um, but for those of you out there that really like this kind of this kind of like shoe, this kind of design, the shiny, this is all you, bro. And if you guys like this, make sure you rock them. And uh, yeah, so yeah, Jordan One. That's definitely one shoe that you guys want for this upcoming summer. All right, yo. And lastly, you guys knew this was coming up. Yeezy 350. You guys gotta have a Yeezy in your rotation. 350 is just such a classic colorway. 350 V2s. A lot of people hate on these because there's so many colorways coming out, which is a bad thing, but a good thing at the same time. Like Kanye said, he wants Yeezys to be more affordable, and they are coming to the point where the average person can buy Yeezys. Like, I believe you guys could get these for around 250 to 300 depending on size. So this is a definite cop for you guys this summer. The Carbon 350 so dope really like this shoe this is my second favorite yeezy that has come out this year but maddie over here has my favorite uh drop my shoe but maddie has my favorite like i said i really like these i'm gonna let her explain to you guys this shoe i don't know anything about them what do you mean <laughs> they have a black stripe <laughs> all right i'll just let you guys know about the shoe because maddie's a little slow so basically just such a clean color where you guys can see the brown and the almost little tints of purple that you guys can see in the side honestly probably the best Yeezy V2 in my opinion to come out in a very long time obviously I like the black and reds with the black with the red stripe but those are like a grand and these are a super affordable shoe like 250 to 300 in these as well uh, depending on size some sizes are more closer to 400 uh, if you're a bay size I really feel bad for you because this shoe is extremely expensive as rehearsed but if you're like a size 8 to 13 you can get these for a pretty decent price and uh, make sure you guys go and check this shoe out it's called the Zion I think I'll probably put every shoe on the screen the name and uh, probably a up close picture of them so make sure you guys go and check these out but yeah that's basically gonna wrap this video up I'll see you guys in the outro all right Joe if you guys made it all the way to the end make sure you go into the comments and you let me know by commenting what your favorite shoe was I'm not gonna do anything stupid this video I just honestly want to know what your favorite shoe is for summer 2021 also let me know if there's any shoes that you think I missed on this list or any shoe that I don't own that I that you guys think that I should personally add to my collection for this upcoming summer if you guys are new to the channel like I said in the beginning make sure you hit that subscribe button also like this video I will see you guys in the next one as always Stay hype. Peace.